This is Canafish Chunk, my extreme one chunk Iron Man. The other day I was on YouTube and I found a video I thought looked interesting. Oh, this looks interesting. Welcome back to Supreme One Chunk Iron Man Sears Vintage Edition. This is a Supreme account. This is not. Neither is that. Whoa, whoa. This. I think it's time we head over to Sears Village and have a word with this Hannibal. If I hear anything from you again, I know where to find you. Clever. <laughs> and I would rain down upon you so hard that you'd have to be reassembled by fucking air crash investigators. Do well, not, not fucking interrupt me, son, ever. Now, get this into the noggin, right? You breathe a word of this to anyone, you mincing fucking twat! And I will tear your fucking skin off. I will wear it to your mother's birthday party. And I will rub your nuts up and down her leg whilst whistling Bohemian fucking Rhapsody. Right? Yeah. Now. Get out of my fucking sight. Uh -huh. Welcome back to Cannafish Chunk. In the last video, we finished up our chunk rolling by rolling the Grand Exchange. Oh no, I think that's pure Piero. No! No, that is just not what we want. This landed us with a number of grinds, with the hardest three being 95 fletching, 90 cooking, and the longest of all, 89 hunter, with only the implings of Piero Piero available as a training method. This chunk is brutal the xp per hour is low and level 89 requires a lot of xp anyway let's get into it and there is level 60 hunter that i did not see coming and pre-talk for but i did get it just afterwards level 60 hunter that is a pretty nice level and the last one we're gonna get for a while the levels are now starting to feel like quite a lot of xp between them um, at least we've got the uh, jar generator increasing our XP per hour per bit, uh, a bit, but yeah, could definitely be better and we're settling in for the long haul now. Oh my god, Barrock Center Clue, that one's amazing! Hold on, hold on, let me pick that up please, right, read, look at that. A baker, break, Varrock Square, one teleport away, that one. If I can just get that step on repeat, it will make the clues a lot, lot easier. Uh, I've got three steps there. I should have been moving them over to there the whole time. I kept forgetting. So we're up to four steps, one more for another clue. Okay, so this is my new favorite clue step because I just need to talk to this guy at the one and only teleport that I actually have. Uh... Oh, I need to give him an answer. Answer is five. Get a new clue. See what we get. Barbarian outpost. No, we cannot do that. So we will head. Oh, and I also don't need to teleport back here to go back to Pure Pure to get my next step. Yeah, okay. That's definitely the best, uh, the best clue step, I must say. Careful walking through. And onwards we go. Now, I have two kids, I make weekly videos, I live stream 45 hours a week, and I do contracting work for an IT company. It's easy to feel as though the limited time I have causes me to be lacking in all areas. My videos aren't as good as I'd like them to be, I can't stream for as long as I'd like to, I don't see my friends as often as I suspect they would like, am I disappointing everyone by trying to do too much? When my friends ask to go out whilst I'm live streaming, saying yes and no are both hard and easy answers. Of course, juggling multiple responsibilities and feeling like you're not meeting everyone's expectations is something many of us struggle with. It's an extremely common concern, and that's where BetterHelp, the paid partner of this video, comes in. They offer a solution that could help you navigate the challenges of life and find a balance that works for you. BetterHelp connects you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. First, you go to their website, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you to a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles similar to your own. You can do it all from your phone or computer, via phone call, video chat, or messaging, however you feel most comfortable. It's the easiest possible way to start talking to a therapist. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you, all from the comfort of your own home, by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash fray, or choose fray during sign up and receive a special discount on your first month. 
Are we going to bag ourselves another little three-step clue? Oh, we actually are. Okay, right. There we go. We got our third casket. And uh, we are going to be opening it. Let's have a little look, shall we? Okay. Let's have a little look. So, in Canifis, where it all began, medium clue, number three. The minimum we can hope for is some collection log slots, but please, one of the cloaks or a pair of the boots would be ideal. Let's go. Oh my god, it's not even a collection log slot. That has got to be one of the most depressing clues I've ever seen. <laughs> I would like an Addy pickaxe at some point as well, so that I can actually use that at some point when we get to mining, but that is a particularly bleak looking medium clue to be honest. But at least we still have two two steps on the floor in Pure Pure, so we might be able to get a new another one done in another couple of hours or so. And we just hit 500 cosmic runes, all got from Pure Pure, getting from level 33 to level 60. So it's safe to say we will have some thousands of uh, cosmic runes once we get to level 89. So that is pretty cool. Makes a mage training arena grind a lot more doable for me, not having to get all those from scratch. So uh, yeah, that'd be pretty handy. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting one, lol. Look at that clue step. This is one of the ones that I can do, and I guess I've got to get there from Ferox Enclave and then down to here and then climb up this shortcut. That's quite lucky that I can do that one. Nice. And with this simpling here, that is level 61. We currently have three clue steps on the ground. Hopefully we can get another one shortly. Uh, we have, what, 28 levels to go? <sighs> That's a lot of levels. <laughs> that means we've got to double the XP that we've got once twice three four times that means we're probably like one sixteenth of the xp there or something really dumb like that oh that's sick okay so this is our first new clue step in a little while uh don't think i've had this one before relatively close to the varak telly so as far as i'm concerned that's good uh southeast of Tavoli lake don't think i can do that no and we go back for our next one Right, another new little clue location. This one, I would say, isn't so good. It basically took me 100% run energy to get here. Uh, but I guess it's not in Canifis, so it does make a change of scene. Uh, this is a second clue step. Are we, for once, going to get one that we can do? No. Not, not once have I done a clue, and the next one has been something I can actually do. Very sad. And now we've got no run energy, and we're walking back to Puro Puro. Very sad. Okay, yet another new clue step. And again, I'd say this is a pretty good one. On par with the Slayer Tower one. Uh, and we do get a casket from it as well. So another four step, uh, another four stepper. So out of our four clues, we've had two three steppers and two four steppers. Which is kind of crazy, seeing as we've not had a five step yet. Hopefully that streak can continue. I knew our RNG would be good for something. What are we going to get from this one? Please something good. Calling it Climbing Boots G. Oh, gold elegant legs. That's pretty cool. Uh, is that an Addy Axe? Yeah, that is an Addy Axe. Some okay runes, but I would say the elegant legs are the main thing out of there. Let's, uh, let's stick them on. They're like fancy versions of our actual legs. I can't wear this. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> I need some boots to go with it. <laughs> That looks so stupid. And there is level 64, and I missed the level, of course. Uh, getting up there, the next level, I believe, is when I get a 100% catch rate on Eclectic. Uh, not Eclectic Implings, that would be good. Uh, on Gourmet Implings. Uh, I think the Eclectics is like 93, so that's grim. But we're making a lot of progress. Because here I started this chunk less than a week ago at 33, and I've not played for a day or two of those grinds. Of those days, yeah, we're making good progress. 42k XP until level 65. At level 65, we're also going to be unlocking Magpie Implings, which I don't think are too relevant for us, but I believe they give the Amulet of Power. And the Amulet of Power is kind of is our best non-sculling amulet 
as of this moment um, and might be relevant for me in the future for like wilderness grinds if I want to just have a little bit more boost and I don't fancy risking like my amulets of glory or my amulet of avarices so yeah power amulets might be useful for me in the future I don't know what else they drop but we'll see once we hit level 65 and there is level 65 hunter and with that we can actually catch magpie implings and magpie implings do have some interesting stuff for us including power amulets which we've never had before i've never had a stat boosting amulet before except the amulet of avarice which obviously in most scenarios that i've been in i.e the wilderness i can't use so it would be good to actually have a usable amulet for once i have to say lure it in if you can I can't see it. Oh, I've got it. I caught it by accident. <laughs> I was just looking around for the magpie that someone in the chat called, and I literally couldn't see it, and I'd caught it by accident. <laughs> I'd clicked on it. I don't even know when I clicked on it. That's funny. Right, okay, there is the first magpie implink. Can we get something good from it? Uh, let's find out. Uh... Well, brilliant. I let my I let my essence I let my eclectic get away. That's good. Uh, black dehyde. No, we do not need that. So I will just drop that because uh, going through the rigmarole banking that is more effort than it's worth for an item I've already got thousands of. So nothing good from the first magpie, but hopefully something good from the next one. I'm getting so many clues with this new method of uh, of hunter that we're doing that I'm getting three layers of these like icons on my screen telling me how long they've all got. Oh, that's so upsetting. I'm gonna have to like move this over again. It looks so ugly when it starts spreading into your invent. And magpie impling number four coming up shortly. Go on. Give me a, a funny little colour, aren't they? I didn't really know what they I don't really know what they looked like before just now. Oh there we go. Can't catch it of course. Shocking from me. As always. Well, now, now I look like a fool. Okay, there we go. Right. Yes! Yes! We actually got it. Okay. Amulets of Power. That is my best in slot amulet as of this moment. Well, except the Avarice, which is actually better. But they're actually usable for me in places that aren't, you know, the wilderness. So, I, well, I could use that at Vetion, for example. Because I, would, I, I wouldn't I would be sculled, so I could protect it. Uh, so at Vetion, for example, if I used a looting bag, I would take Ring of the Gods, Begora's Chain Mace, and that. And that would be my third item I'd protect. So that is basically a best in slot for me. Oh, finally, we got another clue. I swear, I've had about 50 clues in the last two and a half hours. Look at the sheer quantity that I've had in the last hour. So we've had, what... 8, 9, 19, uh, 20, there's 25 clues on the ground right now, and I have just got a step once in the two hours, so, I mean, that's the set going, give me the, give me the fifth step right here now, ah, that would have been good, um, and I just can't get them, uh, but there is clue step number four, which means that we only need one more and we can get our fifth medium clue casket, so that'd be cool. And there is 66 Hunter. I can now wear spottier capes, which I obviously can't get. Um, but, oh yeah, this is a clue that we can do. Let's take that into the middle. And uh, let's open this one. See if we can... Oh no, fuck it. Right, let's go. Um, so we've got 66 Hunter. Only four more to level 70, which kind of feels like a high level. I always feel like level 70 is when the skills actually start feeling like you're making some kind of progress on them, right? Um, so we're up to four clue steps as well. So hopefully we should get our fifth medium clue coming in soon. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we just finished up our five clue steps. And we found our favorite clue step that we've ever had. Look at the state of this. Baroque Archery Store. So it's literally right there. So that one's pretty good. That'll be right next to our teleport. Uh, I've not looked at any of the other ones. Let's see what we've got. Slayer Tower, not too bad. Hopefully we can get more of the Varrock ones, because they're the best. That one is the worst one that we've got, so we will be avoiding doing that one if we can. Uh, south of Slayer Tower again, not too bad. And then this one is South of Slayer Tower. So we've got three South of Slayer Tower ones, so we will focus on those. Um, and we've got the Varrock Low one as well, so we'll do 
the low one, two uh, sled tower ones, and then hopefully we can get it either on the third or the fourth one. And we don't have to do that middle step, which is miserable. And we are going to a five step clue. That is very sad because the only other step that we've got is the one that's deep to the south of Mortmire Swamp, which is uh, sad making. Um, but at least we can guarantee ourselves a casket. Relatively easy these days. Okay, and we finally got a five step clue. So we shall grab our casket here and teleport to Varrock. Okay, so let's open up the medium casket. As always, we're praying for some boot RNG, ideally, but our other collection logs are good as well. Strength Amulet T would be pretty good. Um, right, let's go. <laughs> oh, why is why is it why is it an ancient page one? <sighs> Not a great clue, to be honest. There is five of them done, though. Sad times. I'm going to that magpie to save my life. There we go. Ooh, 216 XP from that. Why did I get 216 XP from that magpie? That's sick. That's so good. I've never had, like, big XP from a nature. Like, the natures are either 34 or 36. Um, but that was 216 XP. That's madness. That's crazy. Oh, and we got some split bark gauntlet. Are they useful for me? I don't know what stats they would have. Have I got anything with stats on at the minute? No, I've got no attack bonuses. Plus two magic. Uh, I guess they're not my best in slot because I'll be able to get mystic gloves, but they're interesting. Oh, and there we go. From the magpie impling. We got the Mystic Boots, and that is a best-in-slot item for us. So that is one of the chunk goals ticked off. I think we had eight chunk goals in total, and we've now done three of them. So, you know, we're nearly halfway done. Kind of. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's quite a cool one to get. I'm not wearing any boots. I'll stick those on. Look at those best-in-slot boots. I mean, that couldn't be an uglier outfit, could it? <laughs> is this a slightly different... <laughs> I did not know this was like a slightly different clue. Why is there two medium clues there? It's one there and one here. I think they're both coordinate clues as well. So what is literally the point of that? That's just weird. I hope you're enjoying the video so far, particularly that intro. That was mental. But I would like to take this opportunity to announce that I am doing a mega live stream on Sunday, the 4th of August, starting at 2 p.m. Uh, there will be alcohol being drunk, text to speak will be enabled, uh, I'll be giving my wife a challenge that she has to complete on stream with the help of the chat with all subs and donations or whatever going to her personally if she succeeds. We will be having a uh, chat with two of my viewers who met in the chat, started playing the game a bit together and then have been on some IRL dates since. So uh, that will be fun as well, uh, having a little post IRL date interview with them. And then at 10pm I will be attempting to eat 60 chicken nuggets live after having been dr uh, drinking for the last 8 hours. So I'm sure that will be ridiculous and fun and I hope to see as many of you there as possible. Right, this is a fairly big exam at random because with this book of knowledge being put on Slayer, that is officially level 40 Slayer, which is what we've been lamping for this whole time. 110 days of gameplay worth of lamping to get to 40 Slayer. And that is why, Terror Dog. So if we unlock the abandoned mine now, we can get a salve amulet E. Now, the real question is, do I continue to be lamping Slayer? So, um, what we have after this is Infernal Mages. Now, they are in the Slayer Tower, so I do have access to those. So that's interesting, although they don't actually particularly drop anything of interest to me, I don't think. 50 is Blood Velge, but 50, 50 Slayer, that's a long way away. What I may do, though, is start doing farming, because what we do have in my invent is an absolute assload of watermelon seeds, which, uh, if we get that farming patch over near Canifis, uh, will actually be very, very handy to do. Now, that's 47 uh, farming, which is quite a way away, but any XP that we get there is XP that we don't have to spend doing it on terrible seeds, right? Uh, I do have Harrowlander seeds, so the next level we get in farming will be useful, because I do have some of those, but... 
Uh, we don't have any useful, uh, what are they called? I was just on it, allotment patches seeds. So, yeah, I think farming might be the play because I think any future goals we have in Slayer are just that bit too far away. Wilderness with 28,000 law runes on me feels like a... Something that is going to go wrong at some point one day. How annoyed would I be out of 10 if I lost all this shit? I think the law runes would be like the worst thing that I'd actually be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> the rest of it would be annoying, but the law runes would be the one that would be really bad. Okay, so we're finishing up this on a new step. I guess this one is okay uh, as, uh, as steps go. That is our five. That is another back-to-back -back five step clues, which is a bit of an L. Uh, let's crack open this uh, caskety boy and see what we can get. Hopefully, what we can get is some boots. Ooh, mithril plate skirt. Now, is that is that, is a mithril plate skirt not the one that I actually need? I feel like that was the one that I needed. So there is a step, right? Um, there is a clue step up here uh on this island right on the mausoleum island that you can get to via the experiments here and what it says that you need as items is amongst other things a mithril plate skirt and i'm not entirely sure if a mithril plate skirt g works sometimes they do sometimes they don't but that is like the one like mithril adamant item that i actually needed so getting that is quite hilarious um i will certainly give that a go and see if it is um it will work so what i need to do is mark in clue details the plugin that i actually uh, not the plugin the clue that that is for and then see if i can get it right and with this eclectic impling that i'm definitely going to catch oh i actually did very good uh, level 67 hunter you can now trap black salamanders now that would be massive for me if I could get a fishing net. Please let me know down in the comments if you can think of a way that I can get a black sal uh, not a black salamander, get a small fishing net on this account. I've got no idea how to. Uh, Berg de Rot is off the cards, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can come up with something super clever for me to get it. Because if I can go and do black salamanders, I can get about 140k XP per hour. So uh, that would be game changing. And there is 68 Hunter. Uh, what's our next unlock? Our next unlock must be Ninja Implings, which are still six levels away. I will say the time between levels is starting to get quite long now. Uh, it's like, what, at least, it's probably about four hours per level at the moment, and we're still, what, a good 21 levels away from the required goal. So... I think we're, we're, we're getting into the trenches of this grind now. Um, so hopefully it works out for me. Oh, Magpie, yay. No, none of you are using... No! Yes, I got it! <laughs> that, bot, um, that bot entangled it and I got it. That's so funny. <laughs> Still trolling the bots, even at Puro Puro. So, I just got some rings of forging from a uh, magpie impling, and I was like, ah, oh, do I need those? But no, I do not need those. And the reason that I do not need those is that likely my best smithing method is not going to be iron bars. Um, and also, now, I do have a ring mold that I've had for a long time. Um, I have 1,275 actual gold bars in my invent from Eclectics. I have a thousand cosmic runes, and I also have about seven or eight thousand rubies in the bank that I got from Vetion. So I actually have enough um, resources in the bank to get about uh, over a thousand, over a thousand rings of forging, and pro a more. And that number is only going up all the time because actually the limiting factor at the moment is the cosmic runes. So, yeah, I guess I've got unlimited rings of forging in the future if and how I need them, but I don't think that I will. See ya! <laughs> I love messing with the bots. I love it. Oh, go on then. I'll just, I'll just have your eclectic impling again, pal. No worries. <laughs> go on, keep entangling on this side, please. Oh...
Go on, one more time. Yeah. Stop entangling them on this side, stupid Bart. I will have your pants down for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Whatever that means. As if I got 13 flax. I thought I'm supposed to get a lamp from that. What? What kind of con is this? I thought that gave a gave a lamp, didn't it? <laughs> what? Oh, here he comes. Go on, be a big boy. Be a big boy. Yes, it was a big boy for once. 216 XP. Massive. Oh, and we got the Mystic Gloves. I think those are actually what I need. I think they're my best in slot. Have I already got those? I genuinely can't remember. Nice. 216 XP magpie for the Mystic Gloves. Absolutely massive. Oh no, I do have those already because I've got the I've got the dark ones from those undead hand things. What are they called? Crawling hands. So I do kind of have mystic gloves already, but I don't have the blue ones, so that's cool. And there is 69 Hunter. We have a lot of helpers right now. We've got five helpers, and the current XP per hour on the tracker is 27.8k. So if we can get about five helpers at all times, this grind will be light work. However, I don't think I can. Uh, we're currently in a battle with another YouTuber called Mark RS, who has rolled a similar grind to me. Now... He gets a lot more XP per day than I do by virtue of being a saddo who uh, who plays like 15 hours a day. But we're making up for it with uh, severe help from a, from a lure gang here. And we are cooking right now on the XP per hour. And here we are with an XP lamp. Now, I accidentally used the last one in Slayer even though we'd already got level 40, but... We've de I've decided that now I'm going to start lamping farming. And with this lamp, we should be getting level 26. And the reason that I'm lamping farming... Ooh, that's quite cool. Harrowlanders. I've actually got a load of Harrowlander seeds. I've got quite a lot of Limpwet seeds as well. Um, the reason we're lamping farming, though, is that we've got an 85 farming grind kind of on the horizon. We don't have it yet. We may not roll it for a long time, but I feel like it's a good chunk to prepare for. And the main way we're going to get there is via watermelon seeds, which we're getting from the Eclectic Implings. 228 so far, probably get about 10 times that by the time this grind is done. And um, that's going to be a bulk of XP. I don't have the option of snake grass seeds like people like Verf did, really. I can't get them in a lot of quantity, but watermelon seeds I can, so we're aiming for level 47. And with this mime of... Oh, there we go. Two collection log slots from that one. Very nice. So the only random events I have left for the random event collection log, green log, is the mime event. And if we're getting two per go, then that is handy for me because we only have two items left. 21 of 23 so far. We've already got the stale baguette, which is obviously the normal thing that people get uh, stuck behind. Uh, but there we go, one step closer to another green log on the account. I feel like green log for randoms is actually uh, pretty neat. Okay, with that level we get level 70. Look at that. That is always a nice level, isn't it? Level 70. It's the first one that I feel like is a high level. Um, still a long way from the uh, Lucky Implings. Still quite a long way from the Dragon Implings as well, but we are relatively close to the Ninja Implings at level 74. Now, 74 is what? Four levels away, but I feel like level 70 is always just a nice milestone level. It's like the first level where you're like, yes, I am now a high level. I think it's because it's like the whip and the barrow's gear are level 70, and it just sort of creates that association in my head. Okay, here we are with another medium casket. <sighs> Can we get something good? Like, surely. All, all, all I want is, like, like some of the vestment robes would be pretty... Wow, that is a seagull and a half. Gothics, page two. Uh, not ideal. Why do we keep getting the pages? That's annoying. <laughs> Why can't we get a good collection log slot? Although I guess it is at least a collection log slot, which is pretty cool. Alright, oh, I've fucked up so badly here. Right, give me this nature, nature, nature. One, want to catch it, please. Okay, 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 and push through, and... Sorry. What? What the fuck happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? The imp. What? I've never seen that before in my life! Oh my god. 
So the imps can nick your impling jars from you, and I'm down to no jars left, and I needed that last nature to get another jar generator. Oh my god, as if that just happened. Okay, so we've got quite a few load of items in our invent, and one of them is this basket of strawberries. Now, the reason why the basket of strawberries is a big item for us is because that is the exact reason why we need to get 95 cooking. Well, at least we have the Chef's Delight. So we've got the Chef's Delight, which gives us a plus 5, uh, but we still need to get level 90. And the reason we need to get level 90 is because we have these strawberries to make a part summer pie. Now... Definitely not my favourite uh, requirements. I I had to get a part wild pie in the past, which is why I'm 85 at the moment, for uh, in one of my previous chunks. But yeah, now we've got the strawberries. We need to make a part summer pie. But good to have that item ticked off. Okay, so we've got our five items, and crucially, uh, not items, clues. Sorry, but crucially, one of these is the Mauritania mausoleum, requiring the mithril plate skirt. So. Yeah, I think I explained it previously, but essentially we can't get a mithril plate skirt in our chunks at all. We can't smith it, we can't buy it, we can't get it as a monster drop. But what I do have in the bank that we got from a previous clue is a mithril plate skirt G. Now, I know trimming armor used to be a common scam back in the day, but uh, untrimming armor does not exist <laughs> in the game yet. But I'm hoping... I mean, look how many mithril items I've got, but I'm hoping that hopefully this mithril plate skirt will work. We've got the maple longbow, we've got the ability to take off our boots. Um, so yeah, hopefully this mithril plate skirt G works. No guarantee that it does, but let's give it a go. And here we are for the moment of truth. It doesn't tick anything in the plugin, which makes me think it probably won't work, but there's nothing we can do except give it a go. Will it spawn a Yuri? No. Oh, that's so sad. I really thought that that might work. I think it's because like things like Primordial Boots and the Avernic Defender have been like specifically coded in to work. Um, so that is a bit disappointing. Oh, well. well, there we go. We can't do that step. All right, all right, all right. Level 71, and I totally did not miss the level. 18 levels to go uh, item stacks are starting to look kind of crazy now like hundreds of seeds thousands of runes thousands of planks hundreds of adi ore like actually quite a cool quite a large amount of stuff that's only going to get drastically bigger and there is level 72 do we unlock anything Yes, uh, the hard tier of Hunter's Rumours. Sadly, we cannot get to Valamore, so we can't do them. But that is a level 72. And with that emote, I believe that is the end of the Mime event. And for us, the green collection log for the randoms. We got the boots and we got the top. And therefore, on our log random events is green we are completely done with random events now we still will be doing some of the random events specifically the ones that give me a lamp so that i can keep limping up my farming but after you know a long time the green log for the collection log uh, for the random events is done okay so we have got another casket um i would just i just really want some vestment pieces like uh, the cloaks, or the tops, or the mitres, or the, the thing that goes around your neck. The what, how is it? How is it? No. Oh. Okay. Right. Master clue that we have absolutely no chance of ever doing, but we did get a gothic cloak. Now, uh, is that a best in slot for us? I think it is. Yeah, because it's like best in slot prey. I mean, it looks fucking sick, regardless. Um. But I'm pretty sure that's best in slot because I'm pretty sure it gives some level of prayer bonus. It's probably only one. Uh, so the regular cape gives basically nothing, just a couple mild defenses. Uh, and the Guthic's cloak gives us, oh, plus threes in defense. But crucially, plus three on the prayer. That is cool. And it just looks like a proper cape. My other capes are for 110 days of gameplay. Uh, we've just been using any old random cape but we now have a cape with actual stats that looks actually good so yeah i would say medium clues worth doing 
Okay, so I was just about to record a clip to show off my new gear, and for some reason my mace is doing some kind of weird visual bug where I'm flipping it around? I can't decide if that's deliberate or that's just like some weird graphical thing that they've got going on. Um, but I am going back to Vetion, and the most exciting thing that I've got is a new power amulet and new spiky red van braces. Now, if I take those off, right, 66 strength bonus. If I put them on, 74 strength bonus, which means that I've essentially added an infernal cape to my gear, plus eight strength bonus via this power amulet and red spiky van braces. Now, we're going to Vetion because I still need to get 95 fletching. Um, I could do it a quicker way. I believe just chopping logs or doing Ents would be better for pure fletching XP than going to Vetion. But Vetion is incredibly meta-efficient for me, and the reason for that is that it drops a lot of good stuff. Uh, most notably, gold ore, uh, dragon bones, the eponymous magic logs that we need, and a load of other stuff that will be useful in the future. So uh, doing that will, uh, seem, seems like a good idea, to be honest. And um, I thought, why not? And now we've got our gear upgrades. It should be extra fun, and I should hit have extra max hits, so that will be good. And there is our first kill back at Vetion. And we got ourselves 900 Chaos Runes. Oh, it feels good to be, like, adding huge stacks of items to my bank again. And the Chaos Runes is definitely one of the least exciting ones. I'm excited to see what my max hit is now that I've increased my uh, strength bonus quite a lot, though. I must say. 44! And it's not my max hit! Oh my god, the gear has gone off the chain! Um, why back at Vetion? We're back at Vetion because I need magic logs. And just like that, we get some magic logs. So, this is the reason that we are here. 225 magic logs at a time. Very, very handy for me. Uh, because 225 magic logs is, what, just shy of 20,000, no, more, more than 20,000 fletching XP. Um, and being, wow, I just hit a 46 max hit as well. That is such an insanely high max hit. Imagine if I had a salve amulet as well. With a salve amulet, I'd be able to hit, what, like, 53, 54, something like that? That's crazy. Um, so yeah, uh... Magic logs is why we're here. 225 at a time is crazy. Uh, the drop rate on them's not too bad. I think it's like a 1 in 25 or something. So we should get about 1 per hour. Maybe slightly less than that. But alongside all the other drops that we get, definitely worth doing. Oh, there we go. More magic logs. Now that is two sets in less than an hour. So that is like... A fat stack of fletching XP. It's over 40,000 fletching XP banked in less than an hour. That is, like, so good. Oh, uh, yeah, that is... That is... And there is a Void Waker Blade. 4,425 kill count. That is indeed the... 10th one? I think, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it did look nice on the ground. Uh, 24 mil GP these days, so uh, nice to get a tenth one, I must say. Get his ass, boys! Yes! <laughs> no, I died anyway! Fuck! Oh, it's if he caught the freeze! Right, that boy should get him, though, easy. Oh, that's so infuriating. 100 Ranar weeds down the drain. Oh, the boys got on him like just as I... Oh, that's so infuriating. Oh, no. He was actually like risking money as well. I think they got him though. So they presumably got my key as well. So they'll have got a fat stack of GP there. <laughs> Okay, so we did die on that trip, and sadly we lost uh, quite a lot of stuff. I don't think I got any gold or, or magic logs, so I'm not that annoyed, but I did lose 100 Ranar weeds, which is quite sad. Um, but there is the 10th Void Waker Blade in the bank. That is a pretty juicy little stack. 
Um, I guess that's the risk at Vetti on though, and also sticking around for ages and ages and ages in there. Uh, the boys did kill that guy and got 40 mil loot though, so I guess that was probably worth me sacrificing my life for. It would have been even better if I'd got away, but sadly, no. And there is 98 strength just after getting 100 grimy Ranar weeds. We're absolutely flying one more strength level until 99 strength. That'll be cool. That'll be my, what, third 99? I guess, I'm guessing I'll probably get it before I get 99 magic. So yeah, it should be my third 99. That's pretty cool. Right, what I realized with the power amulet is that I'm risking it over, like, basically everything, right? So, like, the dehyde protects over it, all these potions protect over it, so I'll never protect that, which is fine, because I've got, like, 15 of them. But what I can protect is the Guthic's cloak. So, as long as I protect item if I get, like, a Void Waker blade or a Ring of the Gods or something like that, then I'll always keep the Guthic's cloak. So I feel, and, and I'll obviously send more expensive things like Mystic Robe Tops, whatever, to the looting bag. I'll always keep the Guthix Cloak. So I am going to use that at Vetion. Oh, hello, Count Check. Let's chuck that into farming and get yet another farming level. Level 27 farming right there. Uh, it will be nice if I can get that boosted up to like 30, 45, something like that. That would be pretty big. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it got to dogs whilst all the PKers were in the room, and now I've got to kill, like, eight dogs. <laughs> oh, go on then. I'll get myself a nice little uh, frog token. Why is there all these, um... All these different options now? Is that political correctness gone mad? I can't, I can't possibly kiss a frog these days. <laughs> but there we go, another frog token, which is basically a banked lamp. Oh my god! Three 216 XP magpies in a row. That is extremely elite, I will say that. Oh my goodness. And with this eclectic impling, there is level 73 hunter. You can now catch black trins. Except I can't because I don't have box traps and I need to go all the way over to Eagle's Peak to get them. But we are actually only one level away from Ninja Impling, so we'll be able to get some best in slots from those and that will be very neat. So uh, 100k XP to go, which at our current XP rate will take 7 hours, <laughs> something like that. So a bit brutal, but we'll get through it. Okay, so we have got the 10th casket here. Surely. I mean, I feel like if I'm going to get boots, it's going to be something totally, totally useless. So uh, here we go for the wizard boots. Let's go. Oh, that's actually kind of handy. Uh, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, teleport scrolls to go in it yet, but I believe if I can grab myself a Morton Telly scroll, that I can actually teleport over to uh, Morton, despite having not done the uh, Shades of Morton quest. So uh, that could actually be quite handy for me one day. Not yet, though. And like a terrible YouTuber, I just completely missed the 74 fl uh, Hunter level. We just got it. And uh, it is an important level for us because we unlock the Ninja Implings. And the Ninja Implings are so good because they give us access to two best in slot items. One being the rune chain body, which gives us full rune now, which is pretty cool. And also it gives us access to snakeskin boots. And snakeskin boots will likely be our best in slot range item for a long time, unless uh, unless we uh, we manage to snag ourselves some ranger boots from the, uh, from the medium caskets. But that is pretty unlikely. So the uh, snakeskin boots will be good for us. Okay, here we go. We got our first ninja impling. Can we catch it? Uh, fail rate is probably really high. Yeah, there we go. There is our first ninja impling. Right, how much are they worth? Seventy thousand gold. That's crazy. Look how good the money making is at uh, uh, Puro. Because I can get that, and I get a nature impling, and that's like another eleven k right there. Like eighty k made quick as that. But let's open up this ninja impling and see what we can get. We're looking for a rune chain body, or snakeskin boots so uh let's see if we can get one of those 
Four prayer potions, though. That's pretty solid. We will take that. I didn't even know they dropped that. Neat. Oh, things you love to see. The, the, oh, that was epic. That is very high on the list of things you love to see. And here is a second ninja impling. Let's grab it and see what we can get. 240 XP for that as well. So it's clearly an out of Puro one. That is top of the list of things you love to see. And we get 50 rune throne axes. <laughs> Bit of an odd drop. Uh, I don't, I've not actually looked at an ninja impling drop table. I guess we will keep those though. Uh, just in case we ever get DKs. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Go on, give me that 240 XP, big man. And here is Ninja Impling number three. Come on. <laughs> Catch, please. There we go. Only 50 XP. Let's see what we get. Mystic Boots already got those, but I will uh, equip them and take them to the bank. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you made it this far through by telling me something about my fashion scape in the comments. Tell me it's amazing. Tell me it's terrible. Something of the like. But I will know that you've watched it this far if you comment. Thank you very much for watching all the way through. Uh, the grind is going well-ish. It's a hard grind. It's very, very brutal. It's very samey. Um, it just takes a long time between levels. Uh, the only thing that really breaks it up is the medium clues, which is nice. But yes, it's a it's a tough grind. So I'm going to keep going. We'll probably see a slight drop in the output of videos coming up soon uh, because I want to try and get as close to level 89 before the next one as possible uh, and just kind of get back to chunk rolling soon and hopefully roll something a bit more interesting. I mean, I still think it's all right. The medium clues definitely provide some... Uh, some entertainment and the fact that we've got to get 95 fletching means we're having to go back to Vertion and that kind of thing so that would be good the next one will probably focus quite heavily on some of the cooking and how we're going to train that up because there are a few different options that i need to experiment with and see which one is best uh but other than that i don't really have too much to say other than a massive thank you to the channel members who as always are Fontcest, Taufane, Patrick Wright, Jerns Gallen, Mike Moran, and Fuclus at the Amethyst tier. Crito, Cianscape, Cornstalk Hands, Mr. Flappo, Pretty Cool Guy 1 at the Rune tier. El Pinin, Cum Crumpet, Titas, Ubahasu, Meme Coin, Baseman, Alacy, Draco Ranger, Pieto Tari, Just Taxland, Can't Even Fly, and Tazar, Doug at the legend tier and at the at, at the gold tier as always eddie mayer shocked thief salnix kai carl sprouse papa brando squang olivet hazmat 83 nilo 360 croporo vandio gaming asher anchor Carsman, spooky pasta hannibal potatis wimble chas john only moly ed manta sauron pedersen morsaco Pants Pooper, King Duffy, Loon Master Flax, Big Fuzzy Hat, Cummy Pancakes, Tom Van Ramshorst, and Nicholas Stringer. Thank you so much to all of those guys. Thank you all. Uh, thank you a lot. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'll just end the video here. Thank you for watching.